Hello, Cloud Thomas, guys. We are back again for the very second reaction video of this year, Mr. Lick Sunday edition. On this year, what Mr. Lick's reaction, guys? Big up. Hello, Mr. Lick, Mr. Lick's YouTube family. You have definitely tuned into another reaction video. And of course, the ones out there, big up all yourself as well for definitely tuning into this year reaction video. Of course, Mr. Lick's family, please click the thumbs up button to help the algorithm push your videos further. Click the thumbs up button. I would appreciate that. And of course, the ones out there, if you have not done so, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through right there. And then there's more vibrations coming out tomorrow. So definitely, you want to definitely, you definitely want to definitely, definitely do this. Subscribe and turn that post notifications so you can get the vibrations right there. And then some people have actually stated to me that they have they don't get the notifications. Sometimes YouTube tends to have a delay when it sends out. So it might send out to this person, this set of people, then it sends out to another set of people, and then so forth and so forth, depending on the kind of watch that uh the people who tend to watch or whenever you pop on, on YouTube, it tends to pop up from time to time. So I guess they know when you come online. <laughs> Hey, YouTube, what? No, YouTube dead, leave me, boy. <laughs> Be mindful of that, eh? Hey. My brothers and sisters, I actually show this in the natural passing. For what reason? They doing well? No, they don't doing well, but truck passing. Huh? Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I actually showed this yesterday or the day before, guys, um, on the incident uh, where this guy got a few dollars and he was bowling Capitole. Capitole, yeah, put them notes. Oh, yeah, yes, right, that's 50. Capitole, Capitole. <laughs> so, I was saying that he, this was his cooler. This was actually not his cooler. This is actually his salary. This is his salary, man. I was told that he's an NEB worker, and this is actually his salary. I don't think the people, well, you, you guys didn't make it better for him. I wish that was his cool out. <laughs> I wish that was his cool out. Not his salary, but hey, people stated that this is his salary right there. This is, he's happy to finally get some salary, I guess, as an NEP worker. And hey, hey, I guess that is the love right there. Love, okay. Four, five hundred dollars salary for the month. Okay, Papa. Okay. Anyways, I get Nick all day, but we'll 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 talk. We'll have to talk. We'll be back. There's something more important I want you guys to show you guys, make you guys hear, right there. This is what I'm talking about, right there, guys. No how good you are. No matter you how stay, good you are. If, if you, for too long. If you stay for too long. You spoil it. You spoil it. A good dancer must know, must know when stage. to leave the stage. Oh. A good dancer must know when to leave the stage. How, no matter how good you are how good you are if you stay for too long you spoil you it. spoil it a good dancer must know when to leave the stage must know good dancer another bad dancer something bad dancer don't know how to leave the stage a good dancer should know how to leave the stage and when we look at this very thing right there guys who's the good dancer here none of them uh oh boy he pretty much let all these people go except himself. A good dancer must know how to leave the stage. It's very clear that the country is in turmoil and of course the agendas which they push in, you know, new world order, one world order vibe. Uh, the, where the people have to come in and say, oh, I don't own anything, I don't have no privacy, nothing like that. And these people are the ones, you know, doing things for you or you have to obey them. But the masters become the servants. The servants become the masters. That's something else, eh? But I think this is this 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 picture speaks volume right there, brothers and sisters. May contain political promises. I don't know if this was actually on put on the truck, but I think this is very suitable right there. This is a sewage truck, and they're saying that inside this sewage truck may contain political promises. And it's very clear we know where Scary putting his promises. We know very very clear that it is inside there he put in his promises. Because the things that actually have to help the people, this is probably why he has no manifesto. <laughs> this is probably why he has no manifesto. Because the things that are actually going to be there to put to actually help the people is not there. It's non-existent. Zero, zero, squat, nothing. And it's rather interesting. We have more things that resembles that very thing right there. The Prime Minister sometimes is very delusional. And of course, this is what we are here today. Let me see if I can make this thing bright. Oh, it looks, look, it looks okay. Guys, anyways, um, let's continue watching this. Listen, let me make up the volume go up. Okay. There's some in the Okay, let me make sure the, the thing is up because this is kind of crazy. 
right there. Okay, better. All your eyes will see who. All right. Country who always want to say, "Oh, labor will not do it." There's some in this country who always want to say, "Oh, labor will not do it." But they said labor will not do the hospital, ladies and gentlemen. And today we have the best national hospital in the OECS, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, really and truly, do you believe that the Prime Minister is serious when he says these things? No, guys, don't get me wrong. I want to believe the Prime Minister. I am. I want to believe the Prime Minister, but ob objective reality is telling me completely the opposite of what the Prime Minister is saying. You tell me we have the best hospital in the OECS, yet still you're flying people to other OECS islands to get treatment for 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 for, for the medical in the healthcare um, um, field. He himself admitted that he can he has insurance for him to send his children overseas. He hasn't changed his mind yet, you know, Matthew. He hasn't said, boy, we have the best hospital. No, I can send my, my little ones there. I can send my family there. No. He has maintained the fact that he can send his little ones overseas to obtain better health care. Then he asked the question to the people of Dominica. What about you? As if they are not the ones who put you in position to ensure that they have better health care. But also giving you taxes and you using the CBI monies and this kind of things to actually help the people. He asking them, what about you? <laughs> Boy, Mr. Amogot Zan Taliban. <laughs> Mr. Amogot Zan Fishy Boy. Boy! <laughs> the man asking him, what about you, we? <laughs> like, you know, put him there. Paying him to do things for you to ensure that you have better health care. He asking, the same man asking, what about you? <laughs> but that's got see, boy. Then the man come in and say this very thing right there, we. There's some in this country who always want to say, oh, labor will not do it. But they said labor will not do the hospital, ladies and gentlemen. You have created a nice building, true? Applause for the creating nice buildings. But when people are doing operation and they end up passing out inside there, I mean, come on. I believe there was a guy who went in for his hand. He went to the hand surgery and he didn't come out. I think the doctors clipped something and he, he, he you know. Today we have the best national hospital in the OECS. I think he probably tried to say the best looking national hospital. Maybe that is what he's saying. Maybe that's what he's saying. And in comparison to other hospitals that I've, I've seen, I, I, I strongly disagree with this one right there. I strongly disagree. Having nice buildings doesn't equate to having proper health care. They have a smart hospital in Portsmouth. And when you ask them, what is this smart? It has nothing to do with the taking care of people, you know. They're talking about energy saving light bulb. <laughs> they're talking about the AC doesn't pull much current. That's what they're talking about, we smart hospital, we didn't say it. And they're talking about energy saving light bulb, the energy the, the, um, a motion sensor light bulbs. <laughs> Boy, we go in that place that we want. Ladies and gentlemen. And people blow in their horn, eh? They blow in their horn. I was saying to the Minister for Health that we need to spend some time to inform the general public of the type of services that we are offering at the Dominica China Friendship Hospital. Well, here's one for you. Why did the Minister, Minister of Health, the Minister of Health, you know, guys, Minister, let me, I, I don't, I, the Minister of Health, the one in charge of health in Dominica. He is the Minister of Health. And I had to send his wife to the United States <laughs> to obtain better medical care. The Minister of Health in Dominica sending his wife overseas so that she can obtain better health care. I found that out. There's something I was trying to find out and whatnot, blah, blah, making few calls and whatnot. I was told that he's not there. That was during the quarantine time. He's not in Dominica. He's, he's left. And on the understanding of his left, he's, he's, he's went overseas to, to help his wife. Wife or whoever that is. He's married her. Well, I was told his wife. The Minister of Health sending his wife overseas to obtain better medical care. To obtain better medical care. Yet still the Prime Minister... 
is telling the citizens of Dominica, well, his labor right followers, but they are citizens of Dominica, so you have to include them in that because sometimes you wonder, how can this be? The song does, how can this be? How can this be? But he's telling his followers that Dominica has the best national hospital in the OECS. Yet still people have to... There's even one I saw where they're trying to fly out this girl. They're trying to raise money and go for me to fly out this girl. But we have the best. How we can have the best and we're sending people to, 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 to worse hospitals? Two hospitals are not the best. We have the best, but we're sending people overseas. Are you find that making sense? Is that logical? That making logical sense? Huh? Then the Prime Minister wants to boast about some hifu, 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 hifu. All kind of footing. And then when you ask how much people on it, how much people have used it? 11 people, he say. Were they successful? I don't know, but he said they used 11 people have used it. <laughs> That's what he say. Because in respect to the treatment for cancer, <laughs> the oncology department, ladies and gentlemen, the same treatment you can get in the United States of America for cancer treatment, we can offer it to you at the Dominica China Friendship Hospital. So you guys have chemotherapy? chemotherapy is not always the best treatment to have you know there's always a low percentage of survival but it's rather interesting as the nature island of the caribbean understanding carbon bodies and we are the nature island of the caribbean can we not look into our own ways and of uh, means we have people who have studied these kind of things who have not listened to the doctor and take on the matter on their own and have decided you know what i am stage four um you know is either I do this or is I continue doing this and there's a very low chance of survival or I take this on my own and these people are still living today as a result of the changing lifestyle because if you notice 92% of the problems and I think at 90 or 92% of the problems that we face when it comes down to medical or medical condition is solely based on lifestyle lifestyle causes certain things to happen even the very cancer thing he's talking about we know that sugar causes cancer or sh not sugar causes cancer sugar feeds the cancer cells especially white sugar they don't want to push they don't want to push that knowledge in in, in schools as in nature of the caribbean he's talking about having chemotherapy that well from that that is what i'm understanding him right, right there and I went, I went uh, in the United States, I worked with a, 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 some, a cancer um, company and I asked them, why are they giving the, the cancer patients sweet things to drink? These people are under chemo. You know that cancer feed, um, sugar feeds cancer cells. Why then are you giving these people sweet things to drink? I don't get it. Sodas and all those kind of things. They're giving the people, even the little ones. Why are you doing this? They couldn't give me an answer, but they are treating. The In my mind, I always think maybe sometimes, well, not sometimes, especially when you understand the big pharma vibes. It seems like they want to keep people sick for a certain reason. When they, when they make enough money for you, they're making you go. And you know what I mean by making you go. I'm, that's just my thoughts on it. Eh? But in the nature of the Caribbean, we are the nature aspect of the Caribbean. That's what we call ourselves. And we are not looking to natural remedies. And if we were to think of utilizing natural remedies and actually studying the process of these kind of things, we can actually help save lives. Dr. Sebi was in Dominica, you know, you know that? Dr. Sebi was in Dominica and healing a lot of people, creating competition for the doctors. From my understanding, he was creating competition for the doctors that were present and the doctors didn't like it. And as a result of the doctors didn't like it, Dame Eugenia Charles told him to leave. He was in Dominica healing people. Go to the United States, had all kind of court case, all kind of things, saying that he's not a doctor, whatnot, and he brought the evidence, the people that he healed with cancer and, it, and all number of things. We are the nature of the Caribbean, and he's the prime minister talking about utilizing um, um, America. I, I fine, utilize the, the, the things that is what known him, but we are the nature of the Caribbean. We should be utilizing natural remedies. How on earth we call ourselves nature of the Caribbean? Huh? 
We call ourselves Nature of the Caribbean. So we importing tomato when we have our own tomatoes here dying. And man complaining saying, but look my tomatoes there. We in the field watching the tomatoes. We watching the tomatoes. But land with tomatoes. And these tomatoes was rotting away while they importing tomatoes to put it in the supermarkets to sell to Dominicans. Man packaging so real. I understand these people talking about free, free trade and Dominican needs to get into it. But you have to blame the very people who are there causing this to happen. We are soil in Dominica. We packaging. We, 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 we getting packaged soil from Jamaica to then send out to our friends and family. <laughs> Boy, eh. And then they will come back. These very people, that, these people that they, you know. Coming back and say, hey, vote me in, man, vote me in, vote, vote, vote me in. What have you done to actually elevate the standing of the nature of the Caribbean or the people? But we know the agenda already. You stated the agenda, the new world order, the one world order vibe. Where the people will not own anything or be independent. They'll be dependent on you. And this is why I'm constantly telling people, all you have to take away that foolishness from all you. Because to be, in the, the, to be dependent on a man means you are his slave, you know. All you know that. This is why when you cannot talk because you're afraid that they take you out of the house, that your money help you put, <laughs> that your money you pay taxes in to put you there, or the CBI funds that come in for your benefit, you are under threat to believe that they will kick you out of the house if you speak the very truth, the objective truth that you see in. Okay. Isa get his money. <laughs> Isa checking well, whatever it is, Isa get his money. Labor is the best choice, really. The best choice for what? Killing the economy? Yes. Destroying the livelihoods of the youth and the future of the youth. And people are talking about a youth future, youth voice of Dominica. They have this these things. And when you look at the posts that they're making, you wonder in which Dominica they're talking about. Because none of these things are applicable to Dominica. But you voice. I know of a patient who went to the United States for cancer treatment. And that patient had to come back to Dominica. Only to find out, only to find out that that same treatment could be had here at the Dominica China Friendship Hospital. So why do you think they didn't know this? They are to leave Dominica to go overseas because they don't expect better from the hospital that is in Dominica even though you claim that Dominica has the best hospital in the OECS. Dominicans are supposed to be suffering from cancer. No? What are the remedies that we are putting in place to actually tell people about the lifestyle choices that we've made? 90 to 92% of the illnesses that we face, especially that causes death, is solely as a result of lifestyle choices. People don't want to go out in the sun. They don't want to do things. They don't want to exercise. They don't want to do nothing. They're just constantly living a life like, like firefly. Or like bees. One thing, one direction. Boom, boom, boom. I work to make a money. Money to pay my bills. The bills that they put in place on us. And I repeat in a cycle over and over. Trying my best at the end of 365 days or within this to get a two weeks vacation time <laughs> well we good we as human beings this is why like places um on on, on so certain other countries you know when you, they don't work 40 hours a week they work um half of that they work half of that because they believe the rest of the hours is wasting time and then you can go and spend that time with your family but when you look at these people livelihood i re i wish i remember the country um is it holland i don't think it's holland it's another it's somewhere in the in the world you guys can look for the best best um, um 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 best life best living conditions or some kind of thing like that type that in in google and you'll find the country well, the number of them they reduce their working hours the government does help them sometimes. They have free health care. A number of things put in place. They get to spend more time with their family and they have a better life than those who constantly work in 9 to 5. 
I mean, come on, people. We in Dominica, the nature of the Caribbean, we're supposed to relax ourselves. Relax our bones. Go and take us. So, I, I talked to a, a girl today, and the girl tell me, as long she hasn't been to sulfur, the sulfur, I'm, 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 I'm sparse. You in Dominica, that's working, working, working. And that person is receiving the care. And we pray, we pray for that person's recovery, ladies and gentlemen. So you're praying for the person's recovery or re receiving the care? care. Why don't we just utilize the skills and talents that we have as the nature of the Caribbean? That's why I be, I've, I've been saying this. But, uh, that is what labor has done for Dominica. When we said to the country that we had a haifu machine. <laughs> the haifu. <laughs> the same haifu machine that was rejected across the Caribbean. And he's talking Dominica as the second one. Because the other countries rejected it. But we have it boasting about haifu and haifu. That could treat the early detection of cancer, ladies and gentlemen. The opposition laughed. And 11 people, you say, that use it. After us. But today... You guys can research this, you know. If all you think is joke I'm making. I remember when he was boasting about this and I went to research that. Is Dominican in other country alone not have it? The rest of the, the, rest of the country rejected it. Dozens of Dominicans. Dozens of Dominicans. The last time you say 11, we? And the last time you said that wasn't earlier this year, no? 11, no, we are dozens now, okay? Who have been, who have used that equipment at the hospital? Have they been diagnosed with it? It's one thing to use the equipment and not be diagnosed. What make you, what make you, <laughs> what make you believe that the, the equipment working? Because that was one of the things that the, the people were saying. It's not accurate. That's what they were saying. That's why they rejected it across the place. So it's one thing where people using it and it not detecting anything. It's because maybe it's not working properly or whatnot. Let's say it's working properly. Has it detected anything? People using the machine and det detecting it is a different in another story, you know. You realize that, right, guys? Treating the early stages of cancer. Saving their lives, ladies and gentlemen. That is what labor has been doing for this country. So what you do, you bring your equipment. Let, let me get this. You bring your equipment to Dominica. So labor brought the equipment to Dominica and people using the equipment. And what I what what are you guys doing as a result of the equipment? Are you guys maintaining it? Okay, let's say you maintain it, you put it oil in it and what have you. You you making sure it what function. So for the five years, for the 18 years that you've been here, that is what you guys have done to help the people. Don't get me wrong, you know, if the equipment actually helping people, that's great. <laughs> that's a good thing. We don't know if it's working or not. We, we cannot tell. But what have you, that is what labor has done for the people of the country. What, what, what about the jobs that I've created to help the people develop themselves? There's nothing that you guys are doing to actually make the people dependent on themselves. Thus making them independent of you. So they can do things for their family. Take their family on vacation. They can do little things. I remember how things were back in the day. But if the youth of this generation. But if only knew what it was like back then boy. And see me as talking like I so old. <laughs> if you knew what it was like back then boy. When man used to go bayfront and we see the nice ambience and you feel like you're in the city. Oh, we are the ghetto. The ghetto fabulous. When I became a prime minister in 2004, I was totally flabbergasted. I was totally shocked to want to hear and to learn that we had no ICU center or unit at the hospital. What are you talking about, sir? Oh, there are ICU. People used to leave other Caribbean islands and come to Dominica. We. People used to leave other Caribbean islands and come to Dominica. We. Now we live in Dominica to go to the other Caribbean islands. What you talking about? I remember. <laughs> and I'm saying, but how could you have a hospital with no ICU? But now you come inside and you don't even make him paracetamol in the hospital. Nah. 
That is the hospitals you guys created. People complaining they don't even have paracetamol in the hospital. <laughs> this is like having a vehicle with no engine, ladies and gentlemen. That is how important an ICU is to the hospital. He's talking about intensive care unit. He's saying that he didn't have intensive care unit back in the day. Boy, all you boy, boy, Mr. Goody boy. Mr. Goody boy. And you know what? Hey. We introduced and placed an ICU unit at the hospital in 2005. The first time we had an ICU unit in Dominica. And I know that there are many of you in this, in this audience and those listening from at home and abroad who have had family or friends treated at the ICU, saving their lives. We can count of thousands of people who would have died in Dominica had it not been for the ICU that Labour Party put in place, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There's so much I want to say, eh? but I might say, I talk, I talk already, eh? I talk already, Gasa. When we inherited Dominica, we inherited the Dominica in ashes. We had to rebuild the economy, rebuild the soul. And the integrity of our <laughs> I, I can't take it no more. <laughs> Which rebuild the economy? Which rebuild the economy? The GDP of Dominica was the debt to GDP ratio was about 56 or less than that. Now it's a hundred and six to a hundred and nine percent. Which economy? The economy is based on the GDP factor of the of of, 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 of the country. It is based off that. Dominica has done this. Not this. This. So how you can rebuild the economy by killing these sectors? <laughs> but what kind of crazy thing is going Hey, even if you don't know. Even if you don't know. The growth sectors of Dominica. Agriculture, tourism, construction. Um, inf um, well, as part of construction. A number of the others. Medicals, all those kind of things there. Education, blah, blah, blah. Every, every sector in Dominica Diary. Except the construction industry, of course, which was handled or is being handled by foreigners. When poor truckers have to come and say, give me, please, give me a little something. Country. No international organization. I think it's the airport he was going to say. No international financial institution wanted to give Dominica money. No international organization no international financial institution wanted to give dominica money or didn't want to give dominica money and the international airport would have been built huh how you how, how you how you just <sighs> some of all leaders think is nonsense i talking <laughs> all right nonsense i talking not true oh let's go caribbean community countries population annual gdp Antigua 1.4 billion, Bahamas 11.2 billion, Barbados 4.9 billion, Belize 1.7 billion dollars, Dominica 0.5 billion, Grenada 1.1 billion, Guyana 7.7 .7 billion, Haiti 21. By the way, so a lot of people think Haiti is this thing. The problem with Haiti is that U.S. intervention. That's what I'll say. And of course, there's a lot of wars going on inside there, so that's why people are trying to leave. They'll never believe that Haiti is a poor place. They'll never believe so. They are pimping the heck out of Haiti, right there. All you need to do, all you think. What they show you is the poverty lines and whatnot. But there's a lot of, anyways. Jamaica, 13.6 billion. Saint Kitts, 0.9 billion. Saint Lucia, 1.6. Saint Lucia and Dominica is a twin, you know. Look at the massive difference. Three times the amount. 0.5. St. Lucia is 1.6 billion. St. Vincent. St. Saint Vincent, boy, I tell you. St. Vincent, 0.8. Suriname, 2.8 billion. Trinidad and Tobago, 23.9 billion. Dominica is the least when it comes down to the GDP factor right there. Annual GDP, eh? 0.5 billion and he will talk about hyph one he hey what i know now what we still do now nothing let me get it my grateful there anyways guys give this video a thumbs up if you understand it let me know your thoughts in the comment box below right there i want to see what you guys have to say maybe it's me that wrong maybe it's me that confused the prime minister something something but i seen all that i mean look at come on 
<laughs> but what are your thoughts guys let me know your thoughts in the comment box below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on a post notification guys and i'll see you guys in the next reaction video boom bam